Hi! In today's video I want to show you how to create a new dev rule to allow any user to access USB devices without root privileges. And I'm doing this because in another series of tutorials I'm showing you how to create um, GUIs with Qt Creator and these GUIs should access the hardware. And here rootless access to the hardware is very useful because otherwise you would have to debug everything with root privileges and this is a little bit messy and I want to avoid it. So in this series of tutorials I will use the CP2112 USB to I2C and GPIO bridge. And if I take a look at my system with LS USB, you can see this is the device here. So it's bus 1 device 5, vendor ID 10C4, product ID EA90, and this is a Silicon Lab CP2112 HID I2C bridge. And if I look into my device files, I can find a device file with the name dev gpio chip 0 and dev i2c0. Or is it i2c1 maybe? No, i2c. Maybe it's i2c1. Yeah, we can find out this with i2c detect. Detect minus L. Okay, so um, 1 is our CP112, 0 is our SM bus adapter. So this listing here is correct. Maybe let me do a clean first. And you can see here both, um, both device files can only be read and written by the root user and people, yeah, only by the root user. And I want to change this. So for example, if I want to set or if I want to light up an LED, I could use sudo gpio set, gpio chip 0, and 0 should be 0. And now um, the LED is on, and now it's off. If I try to execute this without sudo, I will get this permission denied error because the normal user is not allowed to access these files. To change this, we will need udev. So udev is the device manager under Linux, and it also manages the permissions for the devices and over so-called udev rules we can change the permissions and we can grant our normal user access to the USB devices. So therefore I will create a new file under etc um, udev rules d and I will call the rule 99-cp2112.rule rules. Okay, and the first thing I will do is I will set permissions for the USB device. Okay, so here with this hash we can add comments too to this um, UDEF rule. And I will, if the subsystem is equal to USB, the attributes um, ID vendor is equal to 10C4 and the attribute id product is equal to ea90. The groups, we will set the group, so this is only one equal sign. Here we have two, which is is equal to, and here we are setting the permissions. And here we will have to set a group, and the mode I will set to 0660. So this means the user can read, uh, the owner can read and write it, which will be root, and any user which is in the same group can read and write it too. And now we have to specify which group we want to use. Therefore, let me check in which um, groups my Johannes user is in, and I can do this with groups. So I'm in the group Johannes and in the group wheel. So let's take wheel for this, because every user which has pseudo privileges is in this group wheel. Okay, so let me set this to wheel. Okay, and now we will also set permissions for device files. So therefore I will use kernel. So if the device file name is equal to gpio chip star, so this could be anything, so 0 to 100 will be a match here. Then I will set the group to wheel and I will set the mode to 0660, which means owner and member of the same group is allowed to read and write. 
Okay, we will do the same thing here for i square c minus star. So this will, yeah, change this. Okay, so much for our udev rule. To apply it, I have to reload the rules with udev admin control reload minus rule. This will reload the rules. And now let me disconnect the um, USB device. And as I'm running a virtual machine here, I just have to toggle this switch here. Okay, and now if I look to the permissions of dev GPIO chip and dev I2C1, now this changed. The group changed from root to wheel, and the group is also allowed to read and write it. So now if I run GPIO set 0, 0 equals 0, this should set the LED, and it does. And if I write pin 0 to 1, the LED will be turned off. Okay, cool. So this is how to use UDEV rules to grant any user access to devices. So I guess that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video and learned something. In case you want to support my work, you can buy me a coffee and buy me a coffee.com slash for Linux. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching and goodbye.